Hello friends, this session is for paramedical students as well as the paramedical workers who will be working in the ICU, HDU, emergency room and they will have to be familiar with the monitor as well as the ventilator. So first of all, I would like to introduce you to the monitor. This is a chiller monitor. If you see such type of monitor, then there will be power switch anywhere. It can be here also, it can be in the side also. You can see here, it's in the side. So just press once, it will be on. Now this is on. This is the normal view of chiller Proscope M10. So what are the parameters you will see here is most important is the heart rate. Heart rate you will get ECG here. ECG cable is here. If you connect the ECG cable with the patient, then you will get the ECG here and the heart rate you will get here. The heart rate is the most important component of any patient. So you have to monitor the heart rate, then respiratory rate you will get, but it, 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 it will be from the respiratory leads. So it may not be accurate, but it, you will get here. And the SpO2, SpO2 means oxygenation. So uh, SpO2 you can get here, that also needs to be monitored. Pulse rate you will get here from SpO2 and NIVP, that means non-invasive blood pressure. You will get the cable here, you have to attach to the patients, then uh, just you have to press this button, then it will take the BP. This button is for BP and the most important parameter, heart rate, then SpO2, then BP. These are the three parameters you should always remember in a patient to see and always don't depend on the monitor. Sometimes you need to see manually also. If you get something wrong here, Sometimes what happens that extremities may be very cold. In that case, the pulse oximeter will not will not able to pick up the pulse. So what will happen is that it will show the, the different pulse or the different oxygenation or the low level of oxygen or the low level of pulse and you will not get the accurate pulse. So you will have to check manually as well. Now comes to the ventilator. Often you will see in the ICU such type of ventilator. Okay, It can be of any company success its main main ray sv300 and it is a light meditech 1700 don't afraid of it every ventilator has the main function is to ventilate the patient so there will be power connection you can see in the back it has a power connection it also has a power connection first of all you have to see the power connection then this is the oxygen you have to put it into port at a port defined here you saw one of the port like this yeah it will connect to that port again this ventilator has also oxygen connecting port connecting pipe so if you need to give oxygen above 21 percent then you will have to connect this uh, hose pipes otherwise this ventilator are turbine based it will ventilate automatically at 21 21 percent air so there will be one on off switch for every ventilator for this it's here just press once, it will start and for this you will get a, so here, there is a switch, just on it, push it for 3 seconds, it will get on. These are the patient arm, patient limb, it will connect to the patient. Here also you will get one test lung, it will connect to the patient, so don't worry of anything. It has passed everything. I can skip the system check. So what are the important parameters that you should look for in a ventilator? First one is, what is the tidal volume you are giving to a patient? That can be calculated on basis of body weight. That is 6 ml per kg body weight to 10 ml per kg body weight. That will depends on the patients and the doctor will guide you. So what you can see here is modes. There are different modes of ventilation. You can see volume, control, pressure control, synchronized intermittent ventilation, then the pressure synchronized intermittent ventilation, then pressure release ventilation control, then pressure release SIMV and CPAP. This is a, these are the modes that are available in the main ray SV300 and you will see here also, it's in the BiPAP, so I can sense the mode to PRVC, pressure release ventilation, control ventilation, volume control ventilation, pressure control ventilation, auto pressure release ventilation, SIMV and volume 
controlled SIMV and pressure controlled SIMV. What are these different modes? Basically, in the ICU, you will get volume controlled ventilation. So, the main important part of the volume controlled ventilation is tidal volume. Tidal volume, I, as I already told you, that it should be 6 ml per kg to 10 ml per kg. So, if a 50 kg weight patient you have to give ventilation, then 50 into 6 it is it's 300. So, how to sense it? It is already, you can see here it is a touch screen. So, just press here and bring the button to 300 ok 300 it is ok now the red red is very important today i will be discussing only volume control ventilation and the most important parameter in volume control ventilation is tidal volume you will see here tv tv means tidal volume and tidal volume i already told you it can be set between 6 ml per kg body weight to 10 ml per kg body weight if you keep 8 ml per kg body weight then 50 kg men will need 400 ml of tidal volume. You can keep it 400 just press this knob and it is fine. Now next important thing is frequency or the rate of ventilation that is the rate of breathing. It usually we usually keep it between 12 to 16 but according to the patients we may decrease or increase it. To decrease or increase just press the F icon and rotate the knob clockwise or anti clockwise according to the need ok and just press the bottom it is ok. Now, PEEP, PEEP usually generally we normally have PEEP 4. So, if the doc doctor asks you to increase it then just press the PEEP button and increase it according to the need of the patient 5, 6, 7 the doctor will guide you. Same you can come here and see the mode in volume control ventilation if the body weight of the patient is 50 and if you are giving tidal volume of 8 ml per kg then it will be 400 tidal volume and the rate you want to sit you want to set just click it and rotate clockwise or anti clockwise to increase or decrease the rate ok and just press the button and the peep if you want to make it 4 then 4 and press accept then ventilation will start and you will see graph like this ok. In one end you will see how much you are giving tidal volume and another end you will see what the patient is getting ok and the red also you will see here 14 I am giving and the patient is getting 14. Oxygen supply failure we are not we have not connected the host to the oxygen so it is running on a 21 percent oxygen and I have set the saturation to 80 percent so the alarm is ringing if I keep it in 21 percent then it will not give the alarm ok and to shut down just press once press once stand by and there is a symbol of switch off just like the computer just press this ok then this switch ok to switch off this just press this one once you see the ventilator is shutting down thank you for today next we will see the synchronized intermittent mandatory ventilation